Another season of IPL is on us. It's not just the IPL. The first edition of the Women's Premier League or the WPL will also be held this year. As the sports grows, one of the biggest worries of the fans is the corruption associated with the game. To talk about what threatens cricket more, right now, more than ever, I am joined by former head of anti-corruption unit of BCCI, Neeraj Kumar, who also the retired Delhi Police Commissioner, who has a peak who has had a peek uh, behind BCCI's Iron Curtain. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us on the broadcast. Now, you are a part of the most opaque system that runs the biggest game in the country. What is the biggest revelation you can make? The biggest revelation was that uh, I was fairly, I mean, I was deeply shocked to see that uh, I had been brought there in the wake of the 2013 spot fixing case uh, and all that uh, had happened uh, after that uh, the busting of that scam mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the Mudgal committee and the Loda committee and the intervention of the Supreme Court and uh, all right. cricket administrators removed en masse. And uh, despite all that, uh, I found that nobody was interested in the subject of corruption in cricket. Mm. Nobody ever asked me that uh, what was the overall uh, corruption seen in the country in cricket and what could be done to uh, correct uh, the things. So that I found very shocking and uh, I could never understand that why was there so much of indifference mm -hmm. to the subject of corruption in cricket. Now, the Supreme Court appointed COA and the CEO, what I understand, were in charge of running cricket as well as cleaning up the system. But your book seems to suggest that they were the biggest hindrance to the clean-up job. And uh, that itself uh, is a big allegation. They never ever asked me what uh, was the scene overall scene of corruption in cricket. They never reacted to so many disruptions and so many uh, scams that we busted. For instance, we disrupted the Rajputana Premier League in 2017. Uh, it made no impression on them. Uh, we busted uh, the pitch doctoring uh, you know, scam in Kanpur uh, mm -hmm. during the IPL. It made no impression on them. They would never want to know the details. They would never want to know what are the lessons to be learned, what should be done going forward, and so on and so forth. So, as far as I know, they were interested in every other thing but fighting corruption in cricket. Um, I have read your book, uh, Neeraj, sir, uh, A Cop in Cricket. It's a very interesting insight into how the world of cricket is run and kind the kind of corrupt practices you talk about in the book. Uh, uh, you also talk about corrupt officials, even the ones put into uh, BCCI by the Supreme Court and you've called them out for several things. Your book seemed to suggest that the conscience keepers were chasing power, money and glamour. Is that so? I should think so because I feel the power and more importantly the pelf has gone to their heads, you know, and they are not interested in uh, the nitty gritties of the game. Uh, their main focus is on the conduct of uh, the IPL and all the revenues that it generates. Uh, Neeraji, you have opened a Pandora's box. Some of the stuff could be defamatory. Things you've, uh, you know, written about Rahul Jori and Vinod Rai are problematic, very, very critical. Are you prepared for the consequences? See, I have taken on so many people in my life and uh, I have always been aware of uh, the consequences. Here again, uh, well, if they have to file defamation suits against me, so be it. Uh, 